Yes. Well guys, my name is Sam and I'm back with another video and today I am so excited to bring this video to you because people been have requested me to film this video but y'all have certain products that y'all want me to pick out and what y'all wanted me to try out and some stuff that I wanted to try out. I am so excited and I am so ready to jump in this video so let's oh hold on we ain't gonna get started yet so what I want you to do first is I want you to give this video a thumbs up because I know I know you have an account I see you watching every single week you come back but you still not subscribe like what are you waiting on are you waiting on the apocalypse to come for you to subscribe because I I know you're gonna be back next week just to troll and comment down below some bad stuff let me just leave a comment I don't even care just tell me what you want and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you hit that notification bell and now i guess we can get started this drugstore video that i'm going to be doing i am so excited because everybody's been requesting cheaper makeup and you know i love my high-end stuff i'm going to be using a different foundation today you know i love my l'oreal infallible this is the bomb hunty. I've been using her for, I want to say weeks now, and I ever since I picked her up, I cannot put her down. But I have been trying out new foundations, and I have been hating them because I nothing compares to her. Makes me a little drugged in the head sometimes. But today I do have two foundations to be trying out. I've never, ever, ever, ever tried out a stick foundation, so I think I might go on with this. But this is from the same brand. This is Lori. I mean. This is Revolution. I have a lot of Revolution stuff, so I'm going to be trying out this maybe. And then I also have this one. I can try this one in another video. This is the Sculpting Stick, and this is the um, actual stick foundation. I've never used a stick foundation in my life, and I am so excited to be trying one out today. So I will be using this one instead of this one. I will try this next video. But, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, what I'm going to start off is with, with the e.l.f. primer. This is the putty primer that broke the internet. Jeffree Star talked about it and raved about it, and everybody went and bought it and broke the internet and took them all. But I actually got to get my hands on one. I am so excited. I have been digging into her. Can you see how, how much I've been digging into her? We really love this primer. So what I'm going to do is just going to take that mostly in the center of my face, on my nose, most of where all my pores are. And I usually like to take it down here under my neck as well to get some of that texture skin out of the way. To get it all evenly based. This foundation stick right here, I've heard Nikki Tutorials rave about it and I am so excited to try it because she said it was some full coverage. I really I really don't know if this is my shade. I've never actually used the stick before so I am excited to check it out. And I'm just gonna swap. Okay, it does have some coverage. It looks like it's a little neutral. I like to go on the golden. I like to go with golden most of the time, but you know, this is gonna be okay. I'm just taking it all over the face to get that coverage that I would like. I'm kind of scared because I've never used a stick foundation before and I'm like, ooh, is she gonna be good? Oh, she rubbed it. She's nice and buttery though. I think that might be enough, maybe. Maybe not. We're not really sure if she's enough or not. I look scary. I look like Michael Myers or something. I picked up the Elf sponge. I don't know how she's gonna work. Like, she's very, I don't know. Let me try her out. How's she working? Okay, come on coverage. I don't know if I'm liking this color or not. I like to go a little golden and I feel like this is a very neutral pinkish, maybe. I don't think I've ever used this color before foundation but I really do love most of some of Revolution product I will be using some of their palettes today for my eyes I used to use them a while back and then I stopped because I got the James X Morphe and they were bomb for me and I was never going back but you know I decided to do this drugstore video for you <laughs> Now that we're looking casket ready and zombie ready, I'm going with this concealer from NYX. This is the first time I've ever tried this. This is a can't stop, won't stop concealer. Um, I've heard so many people talk about this concealer. I don't know if it's any good, but I've heard a lot of good things. I wanted to try the e.l.f. concealer, which here's the thing about darker skinned people. When I open this, I'm going to tell you a story. Every time we go into a drugstore, why, why can't we ever find our shades? I feel like people think that darker skinned people do not buy 
dark makeup. See this, oh yes, this is good. I got, what is, this is in the shade um, Golden Honey. This is gonna get my honey honeyness on. I am so, yes, okay. This is gonna warm me up a little bit. We're gonna get this casket ready up out of here. Honey, I cannot. I can't just be born casket ready, honey. So that's the shade that I like to go in with my foundation, not very neutral. Okay, I'll zoom y'all guys in a little bit more where you can actually see up close. See what we're working with around here. This powder right here is from Revolution. I put it in a different container because it's in there like a little thing that it, you can't just dip into it. So I'm like, I need something I can dip into. And this I use to sit under my eyes and like all the places that I put concealer at. The powder that I'm going to use to set the rest of my face, I am so excited. Like this makes powder that makes me the happiest person in the world. I don't know. I, I, I reviewed this powder like not too long ago and this has been working awesomely for me. And um, yeah, this is not a first impressions, but yes, I really love this powder. This is the uh, shade Deep and the Wet n Wild Loose Powders. What I like to do is take it on the back of a sponge and I just like to press it into the skin and then go after it with a little puff. So I just like to take a damp sponge and press it into the all over the face to get it set. As of right now, the weather products are sitting on my face. I'm not really liking it at all. That stick, I don't know. I, maybe that's how the stick's supposed to look, but that's not how I really like my foundation to turn out because I like to be flawless and it looks pretty good, but like deadly and ghostly on me. But what we're gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with the Elf Brow, Def what is this? The Elf, it just says brow pencil. Uh, and deep brown. Hopefully it's not too waxy. I don't know. I've never tried her. I've never seen a review on her. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. I guess I could do I guess I could do one brow on camera since y'all I'm supposed to be reviewing the product, ain't I? So it has a spoolie, hunty. I guess I can do this eyebrow on camera for you, hunty. I was really hoping these products would turn out good because I have a meeting to go to in like a whole 10 minutes. So I'm gonna have to stop this video and come back and finish it. So I hope this, I don't know, I hope these bras will save me. Good enough for me. She gotta go, honey. Mm -mm. No, man. I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. I'm gonna finish these brows off camera before I have a meltdown on Elf and this brow product. So look, I, I, I ain't gonna cheat. I'm gonna use this. I promise. I'm gonna use her, and I'm, I'm gonna conceal her up. But I'll be, I'll be back. I have so much powder on my face. I'm gonna go in with the um, Wet n Wild finishing spray right here. I'm just gonna go over it just a little bit. I'm not liking this so far, <laughs> but you know, the finished product is always better. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bronze up a little bit since I'm looking a little deadly. I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild. This is the um, Wet n Wild Color Iconic Bronzer. I think it might have a little glitter in it. I'm not a fan of glitter in my bronzers, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. I don't even know how to open her. She's brand new. Does it got any product? Oh, it picks up good product. Well, of course I got a nice brush, but See anything? I don't see it. But yes, I see the glow. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this NYX uh, contour slash highlighting kit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take her. I feel like she is drugstore. She's in the drugstore section at Ulta, so I mean, I didn't buy it when I went by all the stuff, but I didn't buy a contour at the place, so I think this is fair to use. I'm not cheating none. I might be, but like. But no, it's it's in the it's in the section, so let's use it. So I'm gonna take my little brush that I usually contour my nose with, and I'm just gonna try to chisel it out with this contour. Hopefully, it doesn't look too bad, honey. I'm afraid. Uh oh, that looks bad. Oh my gosh. That looks bad. 
Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so I have a meeting to make it to. I have to go to my meeting right quick and I'll be right back. I will finish the rest of this drugstore makeup look for you. And I will give you a little update on how the foundation holds out. On camera it looks good and in person, not so much. But we will talk about that when I get back. I went to a meeting and I came back and this is what my foundation is looking like. I mean most of my foundations, I've been working on my neck darker part of my area right here. As you can see it's been getting much better because it used to be all dark right here. But I'm still working on right here and like right here on the side of my necks right here. But like we are working with that. I've been using the, uh, this is a really good product. I did use this before the video so look how like, oh my gosh yes it was, it's very affordable. I set my face really good before this I left this house and as you can see I got some oiliness around my nose right here and I know every foundation does this except my um, infallible it doesn't do this to me but look at this that's not except let me zoom y'all in some more hold on I'll be right back I cannot do the smile line thing and I cannot do I, I love look let me show you I love how my skin looks over here it's nice and like that's just skin it's not um it's textured but like you know i have a beard so i do like how that looks i already knew it was going to do that because nikki tutorials reviewed it and she always has the perfect skin and she had all of her smile lines and all that stuff so i was like let me give her a try maybe it worked for me maybe if i said it a different way than she did it would work but now she want to creep up into these lies, honey. You didn't pay no rent. Get off my face. <laughs> you want to creep into this right here? You know how much we pay? You got to pay extra rent when you go up into here. And you ain't paying none. I don't know right if this right here is going to be the same way. I think I might got a, the shade too light. I don't... No, I got F13 in this, and I got... No, I got F13 in both of them. But look at the coloring on the... Can you see that? It's like a... It's darkish. And, like, when you pull it out, it's darkish. But when I put it on, it's like a light-skinned color. Let me see. Let me see if I can swatch it for you. Oh, no, it's not. It's good. But, like, in person, it's really light. And as you can see, it's like a... Electric chair. Oh, shit. God damn it. Palette that I'm going to go in with is, is the Hard Candy Palette. This is from the drugstore. Um, I think she was a good, I don't know, I will be listing the prices on here. But, like, she's dusted, busted, crusted. As you can see, I've only used these two shades. It's because the other shades are too pale and too not pigmented for me but today i just want to go in with a little bit of this red and the brownish color because it is still valentine's day but when i post this video it's not going to be valentine's day anymore but i just want to um go in with these two shades and i'm going to show you to work how to work with it with two shades today we're going to have more than one brush but we're going to do a nice winged out look so i'm so excited going with this pointed blending brush it does have a little bit of pink on it but it's okay it's a little stain we have not cleaned her but we're going to go in and we're just going to dip into this red we're going to swirl her in there and this is with the kickback that's on it it's not that much and i'm just going to take and i'm just going to put that right into the crease what we're going to do is put that brush up against it with no product and we're going to take little circular motions to blend it out take your time Blend. This clean fluffy brush right here, and I'm gonna put it against there and make sure she's nice and blended by the edges. Smiles. Oh my gosh, does it have? Pretty sure that has highlighter on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, she's nice and sparkly now. And we're going for a nice matte look, Conti. <laughs> I'm gonna take this <laughs> this one right here with no product on it. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. Well, it, it's just stained. Run that under the lash line as well. And connect her. I'm going to dip into that deep purple shade. And what I'm going to do is define this crease just a little bit. Where it doesn't get lost in all this shadow. Top of that lash line right here. Just going to drag that down. 
And what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using this e.l.f. liner. I really love this. I think I got this for my birthday or Christmas, something like that, from one of my friends. Thank you so much for that. What I like to do when I start my wing, I like to start it right here at the base and start up here at the front and just work my way to the front because I want to get the line as sleek as possible. When I get down here to the end, bring it up. And what I like to do is I like to bring it out from here. Okay guys, I am back and I got my wing liner on. I got my shadow done as well. I'm going to go in with some of this voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I don't have any lashes, like drugstore lashes, but I really do love this mascara, so it's going to make my lashes nice and coated. Let me show you how good this lash mascara is, honey. Let me show you. I did not find any lash, like false lashes at the drugstore that I really like, besides Kiss, but I did not pick them up because they didn't have them in the Ulta that I was at. I think I might just do a quick recap on the products that we went through in this video and tell you what I like and what I don't like. So let me zoom you right back out. I know you came to my channel for this drugstore review, this drugstore, you wanted the tea, you wanted the truth. And that's what I'm gonna give you today. Going through all these products that I have, Starting with what I started with first, the primer. I know 100% that this primer works because I wore it with my other foundations, which, oh, my infallible foundation. My, at this very moment, I'm not, that's the only foundation that I've actually tried it with, and that's the only foundation that I'm really in love with right now. Um, so I know this primer is not making my makeup um, melt off my skin. I'm this usually just. I just know it's not the primer. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get to. I know it's not the primer. This Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation is literally one of the worst foundations that I've have tried. I've only had this on for like four hours and it's melting on my face. Let me show you. Like my nose is literally, it's melting off of my nose. That's horrible, look at that. My foundation usually don't do that. It's breaking up on the side of my mouth right here. On my forehead, it's breaking all into my, my um, expression lines up here. I hate that. So this foundation, I will give one more try. But I do not suggest this for anybody. I'm not gonna say about the other foundation because I have not tried her yet, but I will do it in another video to let you know how I like it because I picked both of them up because I wanted to give them both a fair chance and I didn't just want to go off about what I got of this. So you buy it at your own risk, but I'm not going to tell you that it's good and then that it's not good. This e.l.f. blending sponge that I've been using to blend everything out, this is amazing. It is soft. It bounces really good. It doesn't take off the product when you're trying to touch up. And yeah, I would really recommend this F bending sponge. This right here is really good. And yeah, I really like it. See, it's not taking off the foundation while I'm trying to touch up. And usually some sponges do. So I really like that. And you already know how I feel about the Wet n Wild powders. If you don't know how I feel about those, you can check out the video down in the description. Yes, I reviewed the powders. I really love the powders, so I don't have to put them into the video and show you what they look like because I got a whole video on that. If you'd like to check that down in the description. But hold on, we ain't done. We ain't done. We ain't done. Give me a second. Give... Hold up. Hold up. This concealer, honey, the can't stop, won't stop concealer. We really like her. And I love the shade. I love the, you know, the honeyness of it. It warmed up my uh, foundation a lot because my foundation was not cutting it for me. It was had me all ghostly and deadly. So I really do like the concealer. And uh, the banana powder that I use from Revolution is bomb awesome. I've been using it for a while. So if you want to go ahead and um, just get that, just 
get it, but don't get don't get the stick foundation. Don't do it. Hard candy, I've been as you can see, I've been through the works with her. She's nice and old and crusted, dusted, busted, and we went through the works with her. And as you can see, the colors come up pretty good on this. And as you can see, my wing liner turned out really well when I used the um Elf Wing Liner. I really love her. So if you want to check her out, go ahead and get you somebody that wing liner. I cannot give you an opinion on this bronzer yet. I'm not really sure because the foundation is breaking apart on me, and I'm not. I know it's not the bronzer because it was breaking apart before I even try to set my foundation. So yes. And I guess to finish up the look, I'm gonna go on with this Wet and Wild um, lipstick. This is nice and purpley for me, honey. A tickle. Ooh! Really love the Mega Long Last lipsticks. This is in this shade uh, Berry Rodriguez or something like that. But I really do love her. She comes in to show and she came in to pop. She was not here to play. So she is. She is on the list for you to get, honey. Make sure you get pick you one. It dries down matte, but it is kind of sticky. But it's not like a bad matte, so I really like it. So check her out as well. Makes my teeth really white as well. Foundation, eyebrow, pencil, we need to go get her out, cause I, you already know how I feel about her. Too waxy, too black. It's a dark brown, not black. Oh, I don't even wanna film this video no more. Just, you know, I'm over it. I'm, I'm over, it. like I gotta go. Like, I got an appointment I'm late for. It's Valentine's Day. I gotta go see the love of my life. Bye. Done. Over. Oh, don't lose. Don't lose that concealer. She costs a good eight dollars. So I see you next time with another video. Make sure you hit the, the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell for you can be notified every time I post. Cause you keep coming back, but you ain't subscribing to my channel. You think I'm crazy now? See what I do if you don't subscribe. All you gotta do is hit the button. <laughs> okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, do not pick up that foundation. It is not great, but I will be trying out the next foundation in the next video. So I'll see you next time with another video. Bye guys. I really love you like so, so much. See you. Peace on the streets. Don't be dusty. Don't be rusty. I'm just kidding. Bye, guys.